Welcome to the Astro Dog channel everyone. So it's been a while since we've done a video so I'm really pleased to be able to be back. We've got some new equipment that we'd like to show off. Today we're going to compare and have a look at some mounts. So we have a brand new mount, it's an EQ4 from Kason. So we're just going to unpack it briefly and then I'll be able to demonstrate its features. So what's interesting about the Kason to start with, it actually comes with bags so you have actually got a case so it's extremely easy to take every, everything with you. This is the tripod one. This is the one for the actual mount unit that goes on top. And it also includes actual counterweight bags. This mount actually features two counterweights that come with it. So it's actually geared for a fairly heavy configuration and it's able to take about eight or nine kilograms. Locking knob. This is the actual mount unit. Um, I'll just come a little closer so we can have a quick look at it. So this mount unit here is extremely tough. It's made of um, a combination of fiberglass and nylon uh, with metal. So it's made for Australian conditions. It's not going to deteriorate. Uh, it's quite a strong unit. The idea is, is that it fits on top and you can then fine tune it once it's been mounted using these two controllers with which you can move it and lock it in just the way that you like it. This knob here is the um, control for uh, getting it set up for equatorial mode. So the idea is, is that basically find the Southern Celestial Pole and you align this unit with it. And that way it's going to be just right. We are Australian down here, so we're looking for the Southern Celestial Pole. The best thing to look for is probably um, Sigma Octanus. So you can type that into an app like Sky Guide and then you'll be able to point the mount correctly. The idea of course is that once it's correctly mounted, you can very easily track an object using the slow motion controls and you'll just need one of them. If you've done it right, you'll only need one. Okay, let's resume setting this mount up. One of the nice features of this particular mount is that it features a very large bubble with which you're able to determine whether or not your mount is nice and level. Uh, in comparison, some of the center mounts, um, ones that you have are about half the size. So having this nice and large one really does make it um, a whole lot easier to do. So let's just have a talk about this. This here is used to um, strengthen the tripod a little bit. It is actually made of metal, um, so it's quite a strong construction. The idea is, is that you, you drop them in uh, into the um, slots that we've got there. And we'll just get that right. So there's one done, that's the other one, and that's the other one. And once it's in, you tighten the screws and that will then lock the tripod in place. If it pops out, that means tighten it further. There we go. There's no need to over tighten them. The idea is just to add a little bit of stability. Excellent, okay, so that's ready to go. Now I just want to talk about another feature or option that comes with them that we're going to use today. Um, you have the option of adding a pier. Um, we're going to do it, the reason is that we're going to be demonstrating a very long focal length telescope and we require additional height. Okay, so this is the pier extender from Kason. Um, it's very simple. You basically just put it in like that. You grab the lock knob, which is this one, and then you tighten it from the bottom. Super. And what that's done is extend the base and give us some additional height that we're certainly going to end up using. So I'm just going to clean up around here a little bit and then we're going to proceed to the next step which is extending the tripod legs and uh, leveling the mount. Okay, so we're ready to now put the mount on top of here um, but there is actually a trick to it and you'll notice um, what we want to do 
is we received a, 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 knock, a, a, a lock knob that attaches from the bottom and is going to secure the mount on top. And this is the part where you will need some Allen key screws. So what you do is you unloosen the top of them. There we are. And you'll be able to do the rest fairly easily by hand. You don't need to take those screws out all the way. The idea is to just take them out enough so that you're going to be able to just pop it off easily. Okay, guys, we have our pier ready to go, but how do we actually get this onto it? Now, it's not good enough just to pop that on there, tighten this up and hope for the best. We actually have been supplied with a lock knob, so we need to actually use it. So what we're going to do is we're going to just have a look at how this is put together. Remove the three screws that are here with an Allen key set. This will then simply come off like that. I'm going to come a little bit closer so I can demonstrate this. What we're going to do next is we're going to grab that, push it into position here, and then we're going to use this lock knob, which we've been supplied with, and we're just going to tighten that up nicely and secure it. Okay, so that is now, you know, dead on. That is very, very secure. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to put this back on and we're going to put the Allen key screws, those three, back in and fasten it to the top of the pier. Okay. There we have it. We now have the pier nice and firmly attached and that's going to be nicely able to be, um, we'll be able to lock that in quite well. The idea is of course that um, you point it to the north, sorry, you point it to the dead south. South, not compass south, but the southern celestial pole, that's key. So you can use an app like Sky Guide in order to find where that's going to be. All right. So we've got our mount on here that's looking pretty good. We've got a pier. What's next? Next we're going to extend the legs and get this up to its full height. So in order to do that, at this point the, the mount is not very heavy, so that's probably the right time to do it. Whoops, don't do that one. That's the, that's the fastener, isn't it, for that? <laughs> All right, here we go. We'll, we'll do this one. So we'll extend that out. Done. Um, I would prefer that a little bit loose at this point. You'll see why in a moment. We're going to just make sure it's perfectly level. Yeah, it's nicer with two people, but hey, you can do it by yourself. It's just a bit of patience. Okay. That's sort of number two there. And then we get the next one. You can see we are actually getting a decent bit of height with it now because of the pier, which we're going to want. There we go, that's kind of locked in. Okay. Done. So, how did we do? Well, this is definitely not level ground, so I can see right away that we need to drop this. So we're just going to drop it until it's level. That's not too bad. So I'm going to lock that one in. All right. And then we do this one. And we tighten this one. Okay, we really want that quite firm because we don't want the telescope to slip. Great. Now have another look. How's it looking? I reckon this one can come down just a tad more. Yeah, that's good. Right. So, how do we do this? There's a couple of things we can do. You can loosen this knob and reposition this so that it's south. That is so cool, all right? So basically you can set the tripod up here um, so that it's level and then you can rotate the pier along with the mount until you have it facing the southern celestial pole. Where's the southern celestial pole? Use your app to find it, okay? So let's suppose um, we'll just 
disconnect this one here get it get it going the right way that's better so this is what I'm talking about so if that's the southern celestial pole we need to adjust it also I have to adjust this so let's just do that this is from scratch friends we're just really are setting this up from scratch so what you want is we're in Brisbane here so I need to move this down depending on where you live you'll need to have this at a different level all right so if I were here and I were looking straight through up there that would be the southern celestial pole all right great once this is locked notice I can still turn it the other direction so that's why you need this second locking screw and that's going to go in quite some way excellent all right so that's now quite that's locked in and we'll just get that going tight from both sides we're ready to go all right we now can um, put a nice we can now put a nice telescope on here all right so what sort of a telescope are we going to put on this one let's just tighten this up let's do the mount next we need a okay here is our bolt this here is got where our counterweights are going to be fixed it's really low it's a good solid solid steel so you tighten that in and we're ready this can now be undone with just your fingers and we're now going to add on some counterweights I have some ready to go I'm not going to unpack those I'm going to fasten mine at the top for now I can always um, I can always add more um, if I need to a little bit later okay so let's see we have our bag we, we're finished with all that equipment really the very next step is putting the telescope on so we'll just take a brief break and we'll be back with a telescope. 